Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying three cake slices from Carlo's Bake Shop. Carlo's Bake Shop is in Hoboken, New Jersey. You probably recognize Carlo's uh, Bakery from the uh, Cake Boss. Cake Boss was on TLC for a while, the show. Uh, we have the rainbow cake, the confetti cake, and the black and white cake. And I wanna show you the backs of these. This is how they look. And there are Carlos Bakery vending machines in different places. I know they have them in Vegas. I know that they have them in uh, some places in Canada have them. Uh, so we ordered these from Amazon, which um, I'll give you the price and everything. It says peel here. Uh, we so I actually, guess you eat them at a, get a vending machine. They just come in packages like this. They come, they're identical to this and you eat them. You would normally eat them right out of the package. <laughs> Now, because I want to get a really good picture for you all, I'm going to take it out of the package. Uh, but yes, that's how people, that's how you would eat it. Like if you bought it anywhere else, you would just eat it directly out of the package. But I want you to get to see the edge of it because there's a lot going on. Um, there, it has a whole, there's a whole side to it. There we go. So, yeah, look, uh, about halfway up, it has some frosting. And then on the whole top, it has frosting. And I didn't lose much in there. Just lost a little bit of the red. So, that's, that's really good. So, that is the rainbow. And now, the confetti. And it wasn't that hard to, to peel either. Once you get a hold of it, it says peel here. Now, you will notice, too, uh, there are no calories on this there's no ingredients on um like there's no label on it so if you uh, are allergic then and you want to order these you'll just want to make sure you look at the uh, information provided um, either on their website you can go to their website and order these or you can order them from um, amazon I do have to say, if you are an Amazon Prime member, you do not have to pay shipping. However, if you order from their website, you do have to pay shipping. I wonder why the frosting went all the way down to the bottom of this one, but it didn't on that one. I don't know. It's weird. And it's not in the tray, so it's not yeah, like, a, not like it's I stuck. lost any. Um, if you uh, decide to order from their website and pay shipping, it is $45 to ship to Hawaii and Alaska, I'm thinking. And I guess it's more because, well, they're mailing these on dry ice. So that's how it came to me. I showed opening these during a vlog. My vlogs come out on Mondays, and so I opened the box during a vlog. Uh, there was the dry ice was completely gone when I when I got mine and it got to me They mailed it. Let's say on a Tuesday and I got it on like a Thursday So it did not take long to get to me, but uh, the dry ice was gone, but they were still um, They were still cool. They were definitely still cool so You can put these in the freezer if you want to keep them longer or if you you can put them in the refrigerator and then you just need to let them sit out and uh, to get to room temperature for about an hour. I will go ahead and tell you, I, like I said, I ordered these from Amazon. You got an eight, uh, you got eight slices for $74.95. I did not pay any shipping because prime. we're Prime members. So if you're an Amazon Prime member, this is the way you need to order them. You don't want to go to the website because you're going to pay shipping. Why would you do that if you're a Prime member? It's the same exact package that they would send you from their website. I mean, it's from the company, It's from, so. yeah, you're getting it directly from them. Um, you're just a Prime member and you're getting free shipping. So even though it was $74.95 per, uh, for eight slices, that is $9.37 a slice. So And there's only six flavors. There's six the flavors, eight, right. Size. So yeah, so you're getting there's two that you're getting two of, which I'll tell you in just a minute. But I'm thinking a lot of people would say nine dollars thirty seven cents is a lot, but we have tried a lot of cheesecake slices from the Cheesecake Factory and they're ten dollars mm -hmm. a slice. So it's about the same. Yep. And this is a, a big piece of cake. Um so you get in the in the uh, 
variety pack, you get two rainbow. So that this you're gonna get two of these, and it's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, you're you're gonna get a carrot, a red velvet, a confetti. You're gonna get two chocolate fudge, which is different than this one, and yeah. you're gonna get one black and white. So we will be reviewing the chocolate fudge, the carrot cake, and the red velvet cake in a different video. So we're, we're doing three at a time. So the confetti cake is vanilla cake with a burst of sprinkles. Go ahead and get you a bite. Vanilla cake with a burst of sprinkles layered with a sweet vanilla confetti icing and topped with rainbow sprinkles. I figured it would be the plainest of the three, but you know, you never know. I wonder if the center frosting is different from the edge frosting. Because sometimes they use different between the layers. Is it the same? It's the same. Well, you got top anyway. It's a good cake. I do like the texture. Mm -hmm. You would sometimes, when they've been frozen or cold, they're like dense and kind of not very good. This is good and fluffy and it's very yes. Good and soft and it's not wet or anything like that. It's, it's a nice cake. Um it's probably denser than what you would make at home, but bakery cakes are tend to do tend to be a little bit more dense. I would almost never say this. But I like the flavor of the cake more than the flavor of the frosting. And the reason why is because I know this is from a bakery. I know that but it doesn't necessarily taste like bakery frosting. So there is a bakery. That's true. A local bakery. That it's we, not like buttercream. No, there's a local bakery where we get our birthday cakes made and or just go pick them up. And um, they have, um, it's so sweet that it's, it's thick and buttery and rich. It's true buttercream. This it's, just says frosting. Though. Right, so this is, is different. Um, I do like it that they didn't try to cheap out and go like a whipped cream kind of thing. It oh, is a thicker frosting. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm just. It is like an icing. It's just not, it's not even as strong and sweet as a tub frosting you buy in the store. No. It's good. It has a good flavor mm -hmm. to it. Just know it's not super, super sweet, but, which it balances well with the cake, honestly. When you eat just the frosting by itself, you get a lot of sweetness, but there, honestly, there's not a lot of flavor there. No, no. It, it's there's just truly a light vanilla flavor. It's yes, very, very light, mm -hmm. and it's very sweet. But I would want you to know, it's not as sweet as like a bakery cake. But I, the flavor of the cake is, um, it's very fresh, very um, um, fluffy filling. It's it's light, but it has a lot of flavor. I just like the cake by itself. But now I do like it as a whole too. Yeah. Um, if you eat it all together, it's really good. Yes, it's delicious. Just don't yeah. expect it to be an overly sweet cake. It's not a bakery. It's not, It's better than a Walmart cake. Right. But it's not a, a it's not bakery. Quite butter cream. It's not a bakery cake either. Right. Okay. Yeah, so. for seventy for seventy four dollars, I'd rather go get one at, at our local bakery if I'm going to eat a vanilla cake. I'd yes. rather have one of those. Yeah. So so yes, if you because that's a great point. You can actually buy whole cakes from, uh, but uh, I want to call him Buddy. It's his name is Buddy. Um, you can buy a um, a whole cake from Carlos Bake Shop, and it's it's gonna be probably the same amount as all uh, uh, eight of these slices. So if you ask me, would I rather go to our bakery or get the, one of these? I would rather go to yeah. our bakery as yeah. well. Um, but between this and Walmart, yeah. give me this. Right. Um, so this is the rainbow, and this is one that you get two of. Six layers of rainbow colored vanilla cake filled with a sweet vanilla icing and covered with rainbow sprinkles. I feel like it should taste very similar to the first one, but I'm wondering if the dyes will uh, come through because Kevin's very, very sensitive to dyes. Um, I can pick the flavor of it. Yes. It, it he, tends to be bitter. And you might not. Mm. 
actually make that one sweeter. The cake itself? The whole thing. The, um, first of all, the, the frosting between or the icing between the layers is not as thick with the rainbow, but you're getting more layers, so it ends up being about the same. I, I know I had to take another bite too. Um, this, I swear the rainbow one almost seems um, sweeter. It's a little denser, the cake is. The flavor of this one is, is a little different. Um, mm. You know, when you buy one of these confetti cakes at the store and make it. The kits, you mean? The, yeah, it, it does have a little bit more of a, an ad, added uh, vanilla. And that seems to have a little bit more added vanilla flavor to it. We're just going to see cake. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> um, I am not, I, I am not sensitive to dyes, but I have been able to taste dyes before when I've had like a cake from Walmart that's had like black or blue. Blues, or blues and greens and black. Purple, the uh, yeah. red. Uh, uh, this, I'm not tasting. Honestly, I'm not either. I had a piece of just red cake, no frosting, and I didn't really get any dyes either. Because they come across as bitter. There is a difference, I think, in the... I think the confetti has more vanilla in the cake itself. And this is a plainer... Um, a plainer Flavor. just cake. Yeah, just basic. I See, I think the rainbow tends... It seems to be a little sweeter. I'm yeah. eating just cake. Yeah, that's why I tried with just a piece of red. Um, I did too. I think that comes across as just a little sweeter, but it could be just in your mind. You know what I mean? It could be the exact same cake mix, and it's just not on our mind. It, they, don't, they don't taste the same. I don't think so. I do think the confetti's a little different. For me, the confetti seems sweeter, but, you know, that's... that's one of, oh, you're saying the confetti. I think the sweeter. confetti seems sweeter. I don't know. Maybe it's just the, the amount of frosting you, or the icing you get. I don't, I don't know. Uh, but I do like the rainbow and the rainbow. Both really uh, so you didn't get any dye flavor. Mm -hmm. No. no it doesn't mean either. it's not there. I just didn't. It's my time right no, not at all. Good. No, <laughs> no dye flavor. Um, and the, as far as the frosting goes, it that did taste the same. Yeah, I think the icing's the same. The icing's the same. Yeah. I think the frosting's the same frosting. Yeah. Um, I can smell the chocolate. Oh yeah, you pulled strong. that close to yeah. me, and and yeah, I can smell that. Uh, this is the black and white. So Carlos Bakery best selling cake. Hmm. Uh, alternating layers of vanilla cake and chocolate cake filled with a rich chocolate fudge frosting, chocolate fudge frosting, iced in sweet vanilla buttercream and covered in sprinkles. Um, I was um, looking at uh, pictures uh, and they make a cake, you know those Italian cookies, they're green and red and white they made it look like um an italian cookie in a cake slice oh my gosh it i thought i want to try that because those italian cookies um have a an almond flavor mm -hmm. oh I, I would hope that the cake would taste like that i would love to try that try a piece without the top first see if you can get like right here in the middle get the chocolate and vanilla Oh, without getting want, the white frosting. Oh, without the white. Okay, I'm like, what do you not want me to get? Okay. Get white cake, though. Oh, get white cake. That's going to be hard to do because you took so much. I just took a slice. <laughs> I took a bite. <laughs> you could have sliced it, right? I like I like the chocolate part. Oh, my god. And the vanilla part. It's really, really good. I love that. But what it's, what's really good about it is that chocolate uh, fudge oh, yeah. frosting. Yeah. Watch me eat. <laughs> it, it's really good, and the chocolate is really rich. Now, I did not like the chocolate by itself with no frosting. I really, it's very, very uh, dark. It's not very sweet. Okay. Okay, this is just the bottom with no, nothing else. Yeah, it, it's a little, I mean, it's not bad by any means, but it's not very sweet. It's just, a, it's, it's a darker chocolate flavor. It is, but it just tastes like a, it tastes like a dark chocolate cake. Yeah, That's just, exactly. It's, I'm just saying there's no that. sweetness there, but when you add it with that chocolate fudge frosting, it's really, really Yes. Good. Now, did you try any of the water? Yeah, I tried, I tried some out there, but it's probably easier if you try it from there. I didn't really get much flavor from that. The frosting doesn't have a lot of flavor. No, especially their white frosting. Mm -mm. It just doesn't seem to have much. No. That white frosting, that's what I would want you to know about these. And it, it started with the first one, with the confetti. 
that white frosting it's the same white frosting on every single one of these and there's just not a lot of flavor mm -hmm. so the and flavor they call that one butter cream. the flight well the flavor that you're getting is the flavor in the cake that's where you're getting all the good part is in that cake well and that chocolate frosting you get a lot of flavor yes that. that yeah that there's there's a like a fudge layer three fudge layers mm -hmm. right there um I uh, told you that uh, they didn't have any calories or like that, anything like that. But I did. These are no calories. You're right. I did a search, and it came up with this Reddit thread. And even though I'm not, if you're not, even though if you're not on Reddit, you can still, if there's a Reddit thread, you can still click on it and read it. And so I was asking, or, or I had typed in Google how many calories are in Carlos Bake Shop cake slices. And somebody on Reddit said, this was two years ago. So we're way behind the times. Two years ago, they have um, his cake vending machines here in Toronto. Um, and I got it last year. I have a photo of the calorie count and it is 620 calories per 149 grams. And then he edited it and he said, to be exact, it says 149 grams is 5.3 ounces, and it says the net weight of the cake is 7.8 ounces. So, anyway, it's uh, that's what it said, and, and somebody else said um, that was great that you got a picture of it because they said, I've searched all over the internet, and you can't find a picture of the calories, and I've had that same luck. As I've, I haven't seen anything with a calorie count but apparently on that vending machine in toronto in canada they had some calories so i'm wondering if you've ever been to one in um like las vegas um like is it on the package is it somewhere on the vending where would it be i don't even know but i would be curious to hear your hidden slices. away somewhere where yeah you know, on the back <laughs> because i would think these slices are this is this this is it this is the same size this is the same yeah. packaging and everything and so why wouldn't if if they um, normally come with a a sticker on them, why wouldn't it be on all of them where no, would, i would say that sticker was on the vending on machine. the vending machine itself maybe in canada it's required, it's required. yeah it could be and i thought it was here too unless there's a american but there's a well there's a there's some law of it has to be a law about some number of made or whatever how much you produce requires or not. Mm -hmm. so which one's your favorite out of the three here uh, the chocolate yeah, the black and white and it, they said it's their best seller i can understand why it's the fudge yeah i'm telling that the white frosting doesn't do anything no but. the white frosting um on all three of these i'm i'm really underwhelmed it's not bad but it's not what i expected from a, a bakery, bakery yeah. at all it's not it's not um, the bakery buttercream we're used to no but we're you know we're I, I feel we're probably spoiled because we buy really uh, nice cakes. You know what though? I can tell it's going to sound weird. I can tell that the buttercream frosting though, because on my lips where I've eaten it, it's a little like oily, mm -hmm. like like it's got butter in there. Yeah, I could eat that the middle of the cake and take that white off completely and not even eat the white though. But you could. Just, it's I mean, not necessary. I mean, I wouldn't. I would still eat it. No, all I would still <laughs> eat it. But I'm saying you could. You could. You would just miss it. not necessary. Yeah. yeah, you would not miss it at all because it just doesn't have much flavor. But. And these are so similar to each other; they're almost interchangeable. Yes, they're, I'm, they're I'm not exactly the, the same. Though. No, I'm going to pick the confetti over the rainbow, and I'm you're gonna, probably going to pick the rainbow. No, I'm actually going to pick the oh. confetti because it has more frosting to it, and the frosting went all the way down to the bottom on, on the side, uh -huh. whereas this this one didn't go all the way down the side. This I don't cool. know why the frosting didn't go all the way down to the bottom on the side of the yeah, rainbow. It, one. It's weird. I don't know if they just didn't do it and, and it should have been, or it broke off when they were picking it up and they said, "Ah, heck with it." Yeah, who knows? I do think um, with today's prices and knowing that a slice of cheesecake at the Cheesecake Factory, we've been paying $10. I know people on the West Coast pay like $13. Um, I wonder in Las Vegas how much these cost in the vending yeah, machine. Might not be able to That's pay. a great question because you're in vegas you're on vacation and vacation money is different than at home money <laughs> it, it's a different mindset 
And I would be very curious to know because I know it's the same size. Yeah, because I would never pay $10 for a slice of cake, ever. You wouldn't nor, nor ordinarily, no, you wouldn't. Uh, but if you go to like Disney, that's just normal. It's normal, <laughs> and of course you're going to pay it because that's what you do. Yeah. You, you pay $8 for a Coke, you know? <laughs> or, or $7 or $8 for a Rice Krispie treat. Yeah, right. <laughs> yes, you do. Um, but that's what I'm saying. With today's prices, I do think for this size, I think it's worth it. Yeah. Because we've eaten, we've sitting here and eaten and eaten and eaten, and you still have that that's much. A lot of cake I mean, that's a lot of cake. This plate is still heavy. So, yes, I do think it's worth the price. I do think if you order these off Amazon, you're getting eight slices for $74.95. But I absolutely do think it's worth it. So you'll have to, if you can answer, I know we asked a lot of questions, but I'm truly curious, um, you know, about calories and, and it, do the, does the machine in Vegas have calories? Because if not, that just means that's, the Canadians are requiring that and we're not, which would not surprise me at all. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video. There'll be lots of pictures for you at the end. And thanks for watching.